Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a personal favorite of mine, launched in the form you see here back in 2013. This is the Zin 104 STSAI, 41 millimeters in stainless steel. You can see it wears easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. A pilot's watch from a brand famous for them. It's a handsome piece. The channel's the best of present day luxury watch build quality with the imagery of the past and the convenience of automatic winding, immense water resistance, profound luminescence, a rotating timing bezel, and a date eight complication that is bilingual. This is a handsome watch that can do it all. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the 41 millimeter case wears fairly thin at 12.1 millimeters thick. You can see that lug to lug, it's reasonably sized. Only 47.5 millimeters, I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. It's a handsome watch and it wears well. It's also thin enough and simple enough that it could work as a dress watch. I have no objections to the idea of using this watch, even with black tie. If you're gonna wear a black tie watch, it may as well be one that's purposeful and graceful. The minimalism almost serves as an aesthetic sensibility in its own right here. And you can see that the pilot theme is carried throughout the accessories. The strap is very thick. As you can see, it is calfskin. It features a contrasting stitch with a little bit of an off-white contrasting stitch that's in aviator's fashion. I would say this is something that's designed to evoke nostalgia. Thick in profile, there's a lot of leather here. You can see it's sheer sided showing you the layers. And on the underside there's calfskin. It's a new Zin factory strap so you'll get to bed it in with whatever size suits you. A simple steel pin buckle signed Zin. It is a factory piece and Minimalist, like the watch itself, also good for on-the-fly adjustment. The case band is very strong. You'll note that the lug profiles are very similar to a number of historic Zin models, including, most notably, the EZM-1. So strong lug profiles, all of high polish, but it doesn't overpower because dimensionally it's just not that big. It's nicely sized. The polish here works as an accenting, almost like jewelry. You can see there's a double knurling for the bi-directional rotating bezel and screws that fix the bezel in place. This is a cap bezel so you can't accidentally snap it off with a hard impact like you can a Rolex or an Omega. Here you have to dismantle the bezel with tools to take it off for service. That's your watchmaker's problem. In every other respect a captive bezel is to your advantage. It's tougher. The bezel is bi-directional winding. It's an aviator's bezel. The idea is that you line it up with the minute hand or the hour hand, a lovely syringe style by the way, and now you can time something. It is a countdown bezel. You can see it starts at 60 and it counts its way down. I prefer this to a chronograph because it's simply easier to read a large radial bezel scale and you don't have the downstream maintenance costs of a chronograph. Plus most chronograph minutes counters only go up to 30 anyway. The dial is no nonsense. Black with white printing. The indices are oversized and they are composed entirely of super luminova. The hands at center are white varnished for high contrast. They too are loomed. You can see automatic in the watch's native German and yes, made in Germany in Frankfurt. You could also appreciate the fact that the crown, simple and Zinn signed, is protected by some small sheer guard shoulders and then you have the ability to double quick set the watch. You can roll through the date, you can also roll through the day. I mentioned that it is a bilingual day and as you can see, this is pretty simple. English or German German, your choice. The watch is native language or perhaps the most popular language for viewers of this particular channel. Turn it all over. You have a Salida SW221 regulated by Zinn and it is a 26 joule automatic based on an ETA 2836. You can see that Zinn uses a high grade splayed spoke balance so this is not a base grade. This is a high grade of the SW220. 28,800 vibrations per hour, bi-directional automatic winding, 38 hour power reserve. You get that stop seconds feature I just displayed, the double quick set for the day and the date, and all of this 200 meters water resistant. So while it is a pilot's watch, make no doubt, that is the style and that is the heritage of Zinn. Nevertheless, on a water resistant band, this watch is appropriate for virtually any type of aquatic activity in which you may engage. Short of professional diving, for which the watch 
and its bezel simply aren't designed. This is a timepiece that has excellent versatility. You can wear it with anything in any situation on almost any wrist. You can see this Zin 104 and make it yours on the watch box. Zin 104 by night, a beautifully loomed bezel, a fully loomed dial, and as you can see, the seconds hand critically is fully loomed. Every instrument style watch should have a loomed seconds hand.